NVIDIA's RTX 50 series Blackwell GPUs have finally arrived, and there's a lot to unpack. Let's dive into what these new GPUs have to offer, from their impressive specs to the potential drawbacks, so you can get a clear picture of whether they're right for you. First, let's talk about the key models in the lineup. The RTX 50 series starts with the 5090, which comes in at a hefty price of $2,000. Then there's the 5080 at $1,000, the 5070 Ti at 750 and the 5070 at 550. Now, Nvidia hasn't revealed every detail just yet, so we'll have to reserve full judgment until the reviews roll in. But if you've been following Nvidia's naming conventions, you know things aren't always as straightforward as they seem, so we'll wait to see how these actually stack up against each other once they're in our hands. One of the biggest selling points of these new GPUs is the leap in memory. NVIDIA is moving to GDDR7 memory, which they say is crucial for the kind of performance you're going to see with these cards. On top of that, NVIDIA is doubling down on AI and machine learning features with improvements that they say are key to achieving the kind of performance jumps we're seeing in these models. The RTX 5090, for example, features a massive 21,760 CUDA cores and 32 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory. For comparison, the 490 had just 16,384 CUDA cores and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. So there's definitely a huge difference in power here, but the real-world impact will be something we'll have to test once we can run these cards through their paces. As for the rest of the lineup, the 5080 comes with 16 gigabytes of GDDR7 memory, while the 5070 Ti and 5070 have 12 gigabytes of memory. These configurations should give NVIDIA a broad range of options, depending on your needs and budget. But let's not get too caught up in the numbers just yet. Performance is always a hot topic when it comes to GPU reviews, and NVIDIA claims the 5090 will outperform the 490 by over 2x in certain tests, such as Cyberpunk and Black Myth, using full ray tracing and DLSS. The catch here is that NVIDIA is using a new feature called multi-frame generation, MFG which generates multiple frames from a single rendered frame. This can lead to a boost in frame rates, up to 8x over traditional rendering, but we'll need to take a closer look to see if these claims hold up under real-world conditions. One feature that's bound to grab attention is the new memory bandwidth. NVIDIA claims the Blackwell GPUs will have 2x the memory bandwidth of the ADA architecture, reaching an impressive 1.8 terabytes per second. They're also claiming 2x the ray tracing teraflops, which should lead to smoother, more realistic visuals, especially in graphically demanding games. These are big promises, but the proof is in the testing, and we'll be diving into that once we get our hands on the cards. In terms of cooling, NVIDIA has made some interesting design choices. The RTX 5090 has a vapor chamber cooling solution with multiple heat pipes, which should help manage the heat output from these powerful cards. NVIDIA has also redesigned the cooler to improve airflow, with a focus on making the card thinner and more efficient without sacrificing cooling performance. This is a much needed improvement over previous designs where cooling could be a challenge for users, especially when overclocking. But as with any new technology, there are some concerns. The power requirements are definitely higher with the 5090 listed at 575 watts. This is a jump from the 490's 450 watts and while power consumption is always a trade-off with performance, this increase could put some strain on systems that aren't already equipped to handle that kind of draw. We'll be testing this out further, but it's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about upgrading. In terms of availability, the 5090 and 5080 are set to hit shelves by January 30th, while the 5070 Ti and 5070 will arrive in February. If you've been eyeing an upgrade, these new models might be worth waiting for, but it's important to consider whether the performance gains justify the higher prices. Overall, NVIDIA's RTX 50 series Blackwell GPUs are shaping up to be a powerful lineup with major improvements in AI, performance, and cooling. If you're in the market for top-tier gaming or creative workstations, these cards could be exactly what you're looking for. However, with the higher power consumption and premium prices, they might not be the best fit for everyone. We'll be testing these GPUs soon, so stay tuned for more in-depth analysis once we can put them through their paces. For now, it's clear that NVIDIA is pushing the envelope with AI-powered gaming, 
And if they can live up to their claims, we're in for a very exciting next-gen GPU experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave any questions or thoughts in the comments.